it's a big one to call. Uh, now a very big match, especially for Abhishek Verma, who is going to shoot on target number two. It's time for gold here in Paris. Abhishek Verma of India up against Chris Schaff of the United States of America. Well, here we go. Time for gold. Kashaf has already qualified by ranking four the Hyundai Archery World Cup final in the eighth and a little bit later on this year. But if he wins this competition, he will book him himself a place as a stage winner and release one of the ranking places. Abhishek Verma, well, he's looking to win this stage and confirm his place. Chris Schaff to get us underway. Yep. Peace. Bottom of the S. Good shot. Go, Chris. Good, strong shot. Good timing. Fancy Verma needed that 10 to start this match. Yep. Oh, hello. Now, two X's from Verma, and my, oh, hello, <laughs> was. I think that might be a nine for Schaff. It's marked for a measure, that second arrow. Yep. He's back in the 10 ring, in the X ring, so a 29 provisionally. Can Verma start this? Well, it's a, it'll be a dream start for him. It's 30 for Verma. The Indian, I think, is in the lead, and that could put a huge amount of pressure on Chris Schaff. Go on then, you're looking at me, I'm sure you're going to say, no, Karen, that is definitely a 10. Well, two things, I guess. Verma, wow, 30, not only 30, X, 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 wow. Uh, and yeah, Chris Schaff, I think it might be in. <laughs> Let's see what the judge has got to say. Well, okay, this for who's buying the lemonade later Ooh, on. Okay, I'm saying in. I'm saying out. And I'm basing it on what you taught me, <laughs> that it's about the line being broken. We look at the shot from Schaff. And there is Verma. Verma starting with three X's. In the pressure now. Yeah, I, I, I've forgotten to talk. I'm supposed to be commentating here. Uh, I'm watching them, waiting for this nine to see if it's going to be marked up for a ten. We get it, and oh. I think I might have something in my lemonade later on, Nikki. Oh, dear me. I'm going to need to have a word of that judge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope he or she does not listen to this commentary. 30 plays 29. What an amazing start for Abhishek Verma. The pressure is now on Chris Schaff, who has to be the favourite here for this. Yep, X. Back in the, the X ring for the American. Good group of four arrows. This is really about mind control for the pair of them now. The pressure on Shaft to come back from dropping just one point. That's how high the standard is. And the pressure of leading from Verma. 
Yeah, I mean, Verma, you know, look at his CV. He's done some amazing things. You know, bronze at World Cup Finals and Samson in 2018. He got silver in Mexico City World Cup Finals 2015. This guy is a real competitor. Jeez. Good, strong shot. Good timing. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. A little bit of extra movement there. You, you talk about the movement afterwards. That looked like a back shoulder dropping out, but still a 10. Yeah, maybe the balance was maybe slightly different, but enough. <laughs> Not quite as good a perfect as the first one for Abhishek Verma, but it's still a perfect, and he leads by one. I really didn't expect this. I, I, I thought it was going to be a very, very tough ask. But he couldn't have asked for a better start. Two thirties. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, fantastic shooting. He's just come here and just doing his thing. And like I say, you know, he's not been on the circuit Burma since Vegas, 2020. That's his last thing he's done internationally. So a long, long gap. You know, I think archers find a lot of their confidence from competing at this high level regularly. Um, and it's so hard to recreate these kind of conditions at home. Yes, you can work on your mental program. Yes, you can work on your mental toughness, your mindfulness. But this is a, this is a shootout for the last place at the World Cup Finals. It, it, the pressure is huge. Mm. I mean, we don't know exactly what's been going on on the Asian subcontinent in terms of competition. We did cover a competition from Korea uh, a few weeks ago. So they are back to shooting regionally at least. Uh, but we know the, the terrible issues that India has faced with COVID-19. Schaff with a long hold at the start of the third end, puts a nine down the range, and this just opens the door further for Abhishek Verma. Jeez. You talk about the accolades of this man over the years. But in terms of current form, Chris Schaff is the favourite for this one. The performance from Abhishek Verma is so good, it's actually starting to show some cracks. And Schaff's mindfulness, as you put it, Nicky, he needs to get control of it. A 30 for him. A 29 for him again. Perfect. So he has capitalised. He's taken advantage both times that uh, Schaff has dropped a nine. Still a fantastic score. But both times, Verma has managed to hold nerve to shoot another 10. Yeah, just, just absolutely fantastic shooting, you know, to come and put down 30, 30, 30. You know, he's got two more to do, you know, just got to hold on to this now. But he, d he looks calm, doesn't he? He looks happy, just, yeah, in a groove with it all and doesn't look unshakable, really, does he? No, and if he drops a nine as well, he's still got... You know, he's got to be able to say to himself, doesn't matter, I can, I, can afford th I can afford that one. I can even afford another one and I'm still level. So he's got that breathing space as well. It, it is a stunning performance. I mean, what a Philip for the Indian team here. To give, I mean, he's going to get a silver medal at the minimum, but at the moment he's odds on for gold uh, up against one of the form archers at the moment. Yeah, I mean, India, just a phenomenal country. You know, it's a huge, huge sport over there. Um, and yeah, just a good depth of people and yeah, fantastic shooting on the world scene here now. Yeah, they've got a good pool of people to <laughs> to choose from. Just over a billion population, but Chris Schaff is just up against one of them here, trailing by two points. Ravishek Verma. Bit more confidence in that. Yeah, that's exactly what he needs. Just needs to keep them going in there now. Can't afford to drop any more. Oh. Good strong shot, Chris. Oh shit, Verma. Good timing, good focus, good finish. 
is a matter of four, sorry, five arrows from winning here in Paris. And you have yep. to say, it's <laughs> against the odds. That's the second one for the world number five. And that's the first point dropped from Abhishek Verma. He's into the 29, leading by a single point now. 118 plays 119. And now we are at that crucial stage. He's dropped one point and he's got to be able to control it. Perhaps has happened at the best possible time because he immediately now goes to talk to his coach. Yeah, quite possibly. I mean, we've seen a match earlier today turn around just like this. One point dropped here and then the switch is in the last end. So he's just got to go back to his normal process, normal routine, put that one out of his mind. It was a really quick shot. He came up on the target and off it went. So I don't know if something went wrong in his process. Couldn't quite see um, his actual execution. But you know, all these other shots we've seen today in this, in this final have just been incredible. Well controlled, you know, positive. Just keep, keep doing those. Yeah, he's going to get back to it. But it is a, a ray of light, perhaps, for this man here, Chris Schaff. Abhishek Verma dropping a nine. We go into the fifth. It is Verma who leads, which to some extent gives a little bit of an advantage if you can persuade yourself, uh, if you're Chris Schaff, that you can put down some pressure now. Last then starts with a 10 from the American. Show me one more. Verma just trying to stay in there, clips the line. You can hear the Indian contingent in the crowd. It is, of course, the teammates and delegates from the Indian Federation. Yep. Brilliant shot from Schaff hitting the spider. One more. So much pressure, so much pressure on this. Got to keep it in here. This is all about the spot for the World Cup Finals. Yep. Oh, there's a nine, the second one. They are all square, 138 apiece. This match has come down to the final arrow. There it is. And that's in the 10. So now, all of a sudden, all of the pressure is on Abhishek Verma. He needs a 10 to force the shoot off. Gets the 10 to force the shoot off. A 29 twice in a row for Verma has meant that Chris Schaff has managed to get himself right back in this. 148 apiece, brilliant match. Pressure from Verma right from the off. Momentum though perhaps now with the American Chris Schaff as we go to a one arrow shoot off to decide who the champion of Paris will be. Yeah, amazing shooting from both of them. Oh, just, you know, Verma may have just come off the line with another nine, but, you know, he's smiling at his coach. You know, he's in a still in a good place about it. He didn't seem upset or despondent. I think he was just relieved to have held on to keep the tie going. So, oh, what, what a shoot up we've got here. Absolute nail biter again. One arrow now, closest to the middle. You know, and this is whether he's going to get a spot to go to the World Cup Finals or not. It could be more at stake. It's just unbelievable. A great session of compound archery here in Paris, the third and final stage of this year's Amber Archery World Cup Series. This is all building to Yankton, South Dakota. In the shadow of Mount Rushmore. That's where the finals will take place in Verma. Relaxed, calm. I mean, do, do you think he came here thinking that a podium was going to be, obviously you come to competitions, you want to go as far as possible, but do you think he realistically targeted the podium here in Paris? I think if you look back at his CV, obviously he's got the potential to do so, but it, like I said before, it's been so long since he's been out on this international stage that, I don't know, I don't know if he thought it was possible, but 
Here he is. Shoot off here for the compound men's individual title at Hyundai Archery World Cup Stage 3 in Paris. Chris Schaff of the United States against Abhishek Verma of India. Schaff to go first. Now, the door, again, for a third time in this final, has opened for Verma. Can he hold his nerve? Oh, what a win for the Indian. He pushed out from the start, led all the way, kept the pressure on the favorite and world number five, Chris Schaff of the United States of America. The nerves perhaps got the better of him towards the end of the match, shooting 229s in the final two ends to allow Schaff to force the shoot off. And in the shoot off, it was Schaff who broke down, shooting a nine and opening the door for Verma, but Verma still had to do it. And he put it right in the center of the target. There is the winner of Paris, Abhishek Verma of India. <laughs> what, what a way to finish compound Saturday. I mean, uh, you can't ask for more drama than that. Absolutely fantastic. The match, the, the, you know, the caliber of the, uh, the shooting we've had today, just incredible. Matches going one way, the other way, back again, shoot offs, but absolutely fantastic archery. Brilliant stuff. Uh, it's always good. I mean, you, it's, it seems strange to call Abhishek Verma with his record uh, the underdog, but he certainly is on current form to Chris Schaff. And it's always great to see an underdog scrapping away, but they don't often win. And the great thing about this is that Verma has come away and in the most dramatic of styles in a one arrow shoot off. Brilliant stuff, as you say, Nicky. He did it so well as well. It wasn't given to him. He, he, he did it all himself. You know, absolutely amazing shooting, just dropping two points through the match and then a great shoot off arrow. I mean, in some respects, that could be, that should be some comfort to Chris Schaff as well. He got beaten on the day by the better man. Do you know, that's a really important point, because when that penny dropped for me as an archer, that if I shot well and I lost, that was still OK. That was a huge, huge deal for me, because I used to think if I lost, oh, you know, I'm useless. But actually, once you learn that if you lose well, you get better and better and better. And what emotion pouring out from Abhishek Verma. I wonder what he has to say. Let's go and find out. Huge congratulations, Abhishek. How does it feel to co come back into the competition and win? Uh, I am feeling excited and uh, we are waiting a long time, uh, almost two years. Uh, there is no tournament for us and uh, now is a comeback with a great victory. So it's uh, very good for me and good for country also. You had one last chance to qualify for the World Cup final and you did it. Did you expect to do that? Were you confident you can do that? Uh, see, uh, I expect that the, uh, that is and uh, it's uh, also tough for me because in my mind something, if you won't then you qualify for the final World Cup and uh, I think that pressure gave me the positive way so it's good for me. You had a great start to the match, then it was a bit nervous, so what was uh, the main thing in the shoot-off? See, uh, that is the name of archery. <laughs> sometimes you miss, sometimes you hit. And uh, for that time, I just managed myself, okay, control, archery, uh, like increasing heartbeat, increasing so many things in my mind. So. I just feel like, okay, calm down. You just focus on your uh, shooting, okay. And I did. Thank you very much, and once again, congratulations for the win. Thank you so much. What a character. And there's the answer to the question, Nicky. Did he expect it? Yeah, he did. He did. And, it, and he said that the pressure that, that, that he felt from it was positive, and he was able to convert clearly to a gold medal here. I think sometimes that's a difference, though, between those who win and those who don't. You know, he is, you know, this is going to be the third time he's been to a final. That is his mindset. That is the type of person he is, and that's why he's so good. A medal to everyone. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's, now, he's now a threat. Schaff, of course, is going. Chris Schaff is going as well. He'll, he'll go by virtue of his ranking position. Um, so it's, you know, the, we're going to see the pair of them again. And I mean, what a final here in Paris. Imagine if that's the final in Yankton a little bit later on this year. 
our last ceremony of Compound Saturday. Time to celebrate those amazing archers. The final four, all absolutely brilliant. Bully F perhaps just having a bit of a jitter with the pressure that was on him. But the three that have got medals, well, it's just been some absolutely outstanding archery. Boss of World Archery back out to present the medals here. Tom Dillon. Well, Mr. Perfect, as he is known around the circuit. Nike Schlosser had an incredible match against his buddy Chris Schaff in the semi finals. But it was an even better match in the bronze medal. He lost in the shoot off to Chris Schaff, faced Bouyev in the bronze medal match and shot a perfect 150. The favourite for the gold medal once he got there, world number five Chris Schaff from the USA came up against someone who was on fire and in control. And it meant, despite forcing a shoot off in the end, Chris Schaff has had to settle for silver here in Paris. The consolation is that he's qualified for the finals. But he hasn't competed for two years on the international circuit. He felt the pressure, but he felt the pressure was positive here in Paris, knowing that only a win would guarantee him a place at the finals in Yankton. It's India's Abhishek Verma, who's the champion of Paris. Time to celebrate. There we have it, our medalists here. The medalists here. Abhishek Verma with gold for India, Chris Schaff of the USA with the silver medal, and Mike Schlosser, so perfect for the Netherlands taking the bronze. Chris Schaff doesn't look happy, does he? He wanted that stage win, that's for sure. He doesn't look happy, I mean, he's been perfectly respectful, well, let's just make that clear, but look at that Indian crowd. Absolutely delighted with the win. Nikki, I know this is a really tough question, especially today after the quality. But what a win for, for Verma. And, and this is how the rankings have finished as a result of that. Mikey Schlosser at the top as a stage winner. Chris Schaff qualifies second. And there you can see down in seventh, Abhishek Verma with the stage win, along with Braden Gelantine. The quality, though, was exceptional. It really was, yeah. To see Verma come through and um, as really an underdog, I think, with no internationals since the beginning of 2020, you know, to come through and win this, amazing. And then to see Mike Schlosser finally shoot a perfect when it matters on this stage was great to see as well. Yeah, and of course, the women produced high quality archery themselves. Sarah Lopez coming through uh, an agonizing gold medal match uh, to beat her teammate. And Toya Ellison there making it to the podium. It was a brilliant performance from from them. Oskiano, oh, 
bittersweet. She won't be going to the Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals because her teammate here, Sara Lopez, put it in the middle once more than her. Chris Schaff, having taken out Mikey Schlosser in the semi-finals, made it through to the final. He was the red-hot favorite as well, having beaten Schlosser in a shoot-off. Schlosser came through the bronze medal match against BF to take bronze. But it was this man's day. He was the highlight for me. Abhishek Verma of India has taken gold here in the men's compound individual on Compound Saturday. That's it from us today. But join us again tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central European time for Recurve Sunday. <laughs>